Savior say Thy strength indeed is small Child of weakness watch and pray Find in me thine all in all Jesus paid it all All to him I owe Sin had left a crimson stain He washed it white as snow Buckets represent your heart. The rocks represent sin. <laughs> so, first off, let's talk about sin. What kind of sins do you could you think of that they represent? I didn't say the amount. What did, what kind of sin might you have in your life that these rocks can represent? Maybe throwing something that you're not supposed to. Lying. Lying. That's a big one, isn't it? Would pride, what else? Dad pride throwing rocks at me. A sin, would it? Pride is definitely a sin. Selfish. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Selfish. Awesome. Selfishness. Disobeying. Disobeying Miss Tara every day. Yes. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Disobedience. Yes. What else do we have? That's personal to you. What kind of sin? Look at your rocks and think about what each one of those rocks could represent in your life. It's sin. Worry. Worry, yeah. Treating others badly. Yes, treating others badly. We have a real problem with that here on the farm. So, uh, huh? telling others what to do. If you're saying it in a not nice way, yes, that's correct. How does sin make you feel? Guilty. What does that feel like? Mm, horrible. Yeah. It's like this gut feeling that's... Um, I actually was thinking about it last week and how, you know, we, we tend to think about the fact that we're not supposed to sin in a, in a way. It's like, you know, we're doing it against God. But it's not just that. I think that he, he created this stuff because he didn't want us to feel that way. He doesn't want us to feel yucky and awful. He doesn't want that at all. But that's how sin feels. And, and what about your buckets? How do they feel right now? Pick that bucket up and tell me how it feels. It's heavy. It's heavy. So it it is heavy. I'm not even carrying all of it. It's heavy. Zach, is your bucket heavy? Yeah. Oh, God, we can't even pick that up. That is heavy. But I... Okay, we need to put some more rocks in your bucket. <laughs> so it feels heavy and yucky. So what are we talking about this weekend? Being despised and dead and moral sins. Right. Sarah? Anything to say on? No, I think you're doing a good job. <laughs> kind of on the same page you are, same okay. track. Um, so what about the size of your rocks? Um, you big, small, you medium. That's right. They're all different sizes. And we tend to kind of think about sin in different sizes, don't we? Do Sometimes when we go down and we kind of mouth off behind Miss Tara's back, we're like, oh, there's this little teensy sin. Or when you knock somebody down, you're all that was a little bit bigger sin. When you lie to me, you're like, yeah, that was probably a big one, right? They all weigh the same to God. All the, they're all weighs the same. It's all sin. It's all equal. Your sin isn't any better than anybody else's. It doesn't weigh more or any less than anybody else's. It's all equal. And we have a tendency.
tendency sometimes to compare ourselves to others and think, well, my sin isn't as bad as if I did that. At least I didn't do that. And we're guilty. I'm guilty. Okay. But we have a tendency to, to, to make it be okay. But when we think about Jesus on the cross, that sin doesn't feel okay no matter what it is. It doesn't feel okay. So, when we get back to the house, we're going to take our buckets full of sin and we're, we're going to cover them up with something red. Right? Do you think we're going to cover it up with something red? Blood? It's going to represent the blood of Christ. That's right. Because in Matthew chapter 26, it says, for the forgiveness of all sins. Yeah. See, when we go back, we're going to cover up Daisy. We're going to cover our baskets up with something red. We're going to put them all together and hide them away under a blanket. And that's going to represent Jesus being put in the tomb. Yesterday, we celebrated Good Friday. And we can celebrate it for the goodness, even though it was not good. And so right now, he's in that tomb. We're going to go and we're going to put our bucket of sins in the tomb. Okay? okay? Has anybody got anything to say? This is an excellent idea. Yeah. 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 Oh, pick up your heavy bucket of sin. I was thinking like, so, what did Jesus have to carry? All of it, which is a lot. It's a lot. Whose sin was he carrying? Whose who's sin was he carrying on that cross? Yep. So guess what? Thousands of these? That would be hard. Guess what? Y'all walk back to the house with your sin. Walk. Walk? Walk? Okay. Hey, hey, hey Jesus hey. carried yours. Before, They're before, yours. I want y'all to understand something. I told, I told uh, you didn't, I mean, I heard, but what, one of the interesting things I heard this week was um, before Jesus um, was crucified and the uh, when he was with the disciples, he, he had called them his friends. But after the resurrection, he referred to them as brethren. And there's a difference because after the atonement was paid, after the price was paid, to those that are in Christ Jesus, we're adopted heirs. We're family. So I don't think it was an accident that he called them one thing before and another thing after. And I just thought that was pretty... And we've talked pretty in pretty depth neat. about that we are princes and princesses of the king, right? Yeah. We are an heir to the kingdom. So I just thought that was neat. All right, let's walk.
Savior say Thy strength indeed is small Child of weakness watch and pray Find in 